welcome back students this is your chendu god in today's video i am going to cover certain important questions and the concepts related to the course adc analog and digital communication for ec second year second sem under j into h r18 regulation i hope you have taken your previous exam well and all the questions which i have highlighted have come in the previous earlier question paper which i have taken yesterday in today's video also i am going to highlight few important question please do work out accordingly and score good marks the first and the foremost gunshot question i can give you in power relations in am waves and a single tone modulation of a ss with equations from these two part we can get one a for sure dear students and the square law modulator for am circuit diagram and the operation of it as well as circuit for generating am and am sc using balance modular related to balance modular also they are going to ask and from this part you can get one b for sure dear students please do work out accordingly later i am going to work out for you the second question that is all about vsb modulation and its applications i'll explain along with this diagram is one of the gunshot question and related to the detector you are going to get one question for sure to sketch the detector as well as the envelope detector and circuit and the working principle and cos ts loop for d demodulating dsb sc wave related to this also you are going to get one question and consider a signal relation uh, certain relation will be given for a square wave you are supposed to sketch it as well as plot the phase of function of t and plot the frequency of function of t this may be one of the very very important if this comes this is the direct 15 mark question dear students and from this part we can get 2a as well as 2b and do not expect direct 15 mark if such question comes we'll be getting for 15 marks otherwise we'll be getting a and b combination and let's look at one more question where the problem will be asked to find work out the amplitude modulation time and frequency domain in the problems related to it and the phase discrimination is also asked sometimes please do work out all this in order to score the 30 out of 30 mark dear students let's look at the third and fourth question it is all about the generation of fm wave direct method is a gunshot question where i am putting the star mark i hope you are understanding fm signal detected with plss plls and transmission bandwidth concepts and the spectrum analysis of sinusoidal fm wave using bezel function is one of the very very important and gunshot question and the narrow uh, narrow band fm versus wide band fm differences may be also asked from this part we can expect 3a as well as 3b dear students hope you are taking your exam very neatly with good handwriting to score good marks and the differences between fm versus am is also one of the very important question and the detection of fm wave using balance frequency discrimination is is said to be a gunshot question for this time in the paper and the purpose of free emphasis and de emphasis filtering and filtering process and the sketch it and phase lock loop we can expect this question for sure and from this part we can expect 4a as well as 4b dear students i hope you are working out all the concepts which i am going to highlight here and third question also carries two questions i mean the third unit also carries two questions as per the covid pattern you are going to get two questions even from this rf section a list and the characteristics may be one of the question and the tuned radio frequency receiver working and sketches are several times we can expect this to be one of the important question and highlighted one dpcm versus dm versus pcm in all aspects also are several times for a eight mark question and the intermediate frequency and the amplitude limiting from this part we can expect 5a as well as 5b dear students work out all these concepts and agc types and simple agc circuit am versus fm receivers and trt how to overcome them and the limitations is also one of the eight mark question and the block diagram of pcm functions as well as certain problems will be also covered from this and this may be the 6a as well as 6b dear students and all the circuit diagrams need to be worked out only in pencil please do carry that I am coming to the 8th and 7th question and 7th and 8th question from this part you are going to get 7th question as per the pattern you will be getting only one question from 4 as well as 5 5th unit non-uniform quantization delta modulation system along with the diagram is also one of the gunshot question fsk waveform equation isi free signals fsk waveform i can expect this time and the pam versus pwm versus ppm the differences are asked several times ppm signal can be generated by twm signal explain the term and the ask director coherent versus non coherent is also one of the very very important question from this part you are going to get one question i mean the seventh question later the i diagram and its applications is very very important and one short question and bsk in the lab b p s k in band transmission and q p s k system derived probability error is also one of the very important question if you are working out the eighth unit you need to work out all this and for the ask signaling as well as optimum receiver and b p s k with waveform and equation which i have written here once again but the equation is also asked several times these are the gunshot questions whichever wherever i highlighted may be repeatedly 
they are repeatedly asked and we can expect the same for this time also hope you have subscribed to my channel if not please do that and share these all videos which are really helpful for your friends and we do like and comment if you are looking for any other course good luck and god bless you all thank you